Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Equestria War, playing with Alexander Kamersky, but we need to talk about the reopening of Parliament. And the first time since 986, when President Marshal Alexander Kamersky suspended the Constitution, parliamentary elections have been held in cloud bearing and politicians and influencers from across the Republic have run for the local positions, whether they be left, right, or the center. Even non nrp parties such as a Liberal Democratic Party, a pro equestrian Harmonic Party, and the Native Rights Party led by Cloud Barians managed to gain some small amount of seats, but of course the NRP ended up with the majority of the parliamentary seats. These seats, however, were divided massively between the different factions of the NRP, and it was obvious that to create a pal stable political situation, coalitions and alliances would have to be made even within the party. With the NRP left, NRP center, and the right still engaging in all coalition talks, it seems that the Republic will soon have a ruling coalition in order soon. So, like I said in the last episode, I'd like to just kind of stay non-aligned, do that as much as possible, um, even though Harmony support is going up a little bit more, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. So, liberals and socialists, liberals, liberals and conservatives, or just conservatives. So I think we'll probably just go with conservatives, just because this is going to continue going down anyway, so we'll see what happens. Wow, that actually boosted up by a whole lot. But we did finish parliamentary elections, in which we got some comments to go through, but uh, one of them was for me to go take the necessary measure, but we can't since we need to declare martial law. That's Kind of the more, I don't guess, maybe supremacy route, maybe, maybe not. I could have taken this route, but obviously we can't do it now since I didn't take the enforced martial law, which does kind of suck. But um, we we'll have to we have to take a new dawn from here. I do, as our president, marshal the Griffonian Republic hereby declare that we are entering a new dawn, a new age, a new life. Three cheers for the Republic, which is okay, and the benefits are really good. Also, we're at war. Uh, the Socialist Republic of Sky Navy did declare war on us, but so far we're doing pretty darn well, and we. Ooh. Need to already go here. Mm. Actually, you know what? Don't do that one yet. Let's go ahead and grab this first, because we're going to need the population. And then we'll go back and do this. Thank you. Cool. So, overall, we're not doing too badly. Obviously, here's not great, but still. Not, here's not too great, but... Are they doing last stand? No, they're not, but they're looking really bad, so... Overall, not too bad. This is going to give us a good amount of army XP. It's going to give us some... Well, maybe not some air XP, which is kind of disappointing, but... Uh, yeah, we can't really do anything up there because we're pretty far away, so... We'll do the best we possibly can, as the Griffonian Empire is looking pretty thick and massive, which is unfortunate. So, overall, you guys either recommended that we take a, the task ahead, or do the Griffin Tutelage, and overall, there was more, more time or more support for us to do the Griffin Tutelage. So, we'll go down this route. In order to consolidate our new time for the Republic, we must ensure the security of our own government and people. Nothing can be done if we overextend ourselves. We must be ready. And so we shall stay vigilant under the watch of President Marshall for as long as necessary. So we get more political power stability, lose some more support, just while World Goals time goes down, which is not good. Even though the task ahead actually looks probably a lot better. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with this way for now. Because even though this side gives us 2% more population, this still gives us 1%. And it looks like some more construction speed for stuff. So, we create the Republican pact, which would be very nice. So, I know there's, there's support for me to go supremacist or non-aligned. There's support for me to go democratic as well, but it is what it is. Someone even wants me to make a kingdom. So, I'm not exactly sure what path that is. And someone says, do the Iron Marshal. Let's see. Iron. Okay, it's not there. Uh, we'll see. Defend the dream. So, we'll do the best we can. We have a stout... We're probably going to get a stout defender. Finish the revolution actually would be really nice. Ooh... Tricolor over Griffenheim. Oh, we can core that stuff eventually. That's actually really good. So, that'll be very good to do eventually. How many losses have we taken? 13,000 versus... Holy crap. 50, over 50, 60,000? That's actually pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. Especially considering our army's not really that great. Obviously, these people's army's supposed to be like, really garbage. But, it is what it is. Actually, going to go... Yes, we can. War economy is very good. We love war economy. We're building roads up here just because the supply is so bad. But, actually, it's not that bad. So, come back. Nice. Keep going if you can. Griffin Tutelage, nice. Okay. And contingency plans of the Republican Pact. Let's do this one first, because we need to use uh, manpower. As a bulwark of freedom and liberty, and surrounded by many who would wish to eliminate these very values, we must prepare ourselves for the inevitable struggle to defend ourselves. We must be prepared for everything that the Republic will not fall. Can you just capitulate these guys? Come on, let's keep going, keep going. Griffin Ham has capitulated, which I don't think they're that strong, but whatever. Uh, Raided by Halkland is gone. Raiders. Oh, we repulsed them. Good. Reports come from our shores. A force of Hawklandish pirates have attempted to raid or reprised or repulsed by our brave navy. The sailors are officially congratulated for their bravery. Despite this victory, several voices in our administration have called to strengthen our naval forces in order to deter Herman Maya from again attempting to attack us. Not today, Maya. Not today. Okay, you guys go there, there. That'd be fine. So out of manpower, but it's fine for now. Whatever. Keep going, keep going. We've only killed off a lot of their divisions. 40,000, 75,000. 3 to 1 casualty ratio is not too bad, so. Keep going. I know we're not doing great here-ish, but still. And this is a huge but still. 
Good, we're taking everything over there, which is nice. Um, I would prefer to go up here, honestly, so we can cut him off, but... Go here. Nice, and let's go ahead and... Uh, fortify the Fethians of the border. Let's do the Republican Pact. Good friends all over Griffoni wish to rid the land of the monarchy just as we do. They are our allies and friends. We shall make an effort to befriend them and have them join us in our great efforts of liberating or liberating the continent. Good. Kill them off. The Vedinian engagement. All right. Not bad. Not bad. You guys are really struggling here now a little bit. Um, stop trading. That would be okay. War support's actually really, really good still. Not bad. Not bad. And we'll wait to do stuff over here too. Good. It's a little bit ahead of time. Can you grab any better artillery? Yes, we can, which is very, very nice, actually. Go and put them right there, because you can. And let's do this. Thank you. Go ahead and do that. I think for now, let's get some more planning going. So far, we've done quite well. I want to get some more planning so we can actually finish out this war very strongly. So, give us a little bit more time. We need more manpower. We need more artillery, of course. We need a lot of artillery. Holy crap. So, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Our Republican Pact. And let's get some retake the north. Reconcile the North. Well, technically, current rule potting is not, not aligned. So if you're worried about this, please go ahead. So I guess we have to do retake the North, so. Um, this should auto-bypass, right? The communists to the North are a danger to a northern border and should be treated as such. They cannot be reasoned with, and only a swift strike will secure northern flank. Good. Ooh. Oh, we can check other people. Oh, okay. Can be cored if average compliance reaches 40%. I kind of like that. Um, but it's not quite there yet. Let's fortify the Fezian border first, just in case. Fezizia is the closest imperial duchy to our nation. If the empires would attack us, it would be in our best interest to fortify the area. Very, very true. Integrated support. I love integrated support. Love, 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 love it. Mutual guarantees. The Quillian Republic has decided that it would be in their best interest to fully join our pact. Though they've made it clear that they do not want to fully commit, thus, a treaty against the empire has been signed. Nice. And Skyfall Republic joins our faction too. Great. Alright, so here, what we want to do is push through here as hard and as fast as possible. So we'll do that, that, and then there you go. You should be able to... Oh. Uh, sure, you guys can come in if you, if you really want to. That's fine with me. It is not this year yet. Can we do anything over here? Yes, we can. Good. Come on, guys. Keep going. I know they're entrenched, but still. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Oh, yes. We'll take some stuff, too. That's good. Uh, push them in. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job. We get almost two a day, which is so nice. I would like to get more attack right now, but we'll see. Defense would be super important later on. For now, I would like to get more attack to finish out this war. So, go with more attack. Oh, this guy's a 40 combo with two. Holy crap. That's nice. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job. Actually, since you're here, push in here. And go straight over the river if you can. There you go. We're going to break over the river somewhere, both ways, actually. So give a few more seconds and then we'll do a general attack again. Fortify the Physian border. Let's go. Ooh, we need mil military in the north. We should focus interest in the north, where the Imperials will not be able to reach them. This will help our industrialized and impoverished region and protect our vital military industry. Very good. Um, yeah, get some better planes. Adler's very nice. Good. Get these three divisions over here, too. Nice. Help them out. Well, if they want to attack, we'll go there, there. There you go. Drain them with their strength. Drain them with their strength. These guys are really not looking good. Alright. You guys head into there. You should be able to win pretty easily. Take you two and go right there. You go up there, and you're going to help support the attack immediately as well. So we're going to circle these f six divisions. That'd be very good. Come on. Come on, baby boys. Good. Come on. Break them, break them. You know what? Start attacking here just so we can do that and keep them uh, still if I deal with the communist legacy, though. The communists that used to rule this land did not give their people any real liberty. We shall show them what true freedom feels like for the Republic. Keep them centered. Oh, they're attacking us too, huh? Well, they're going to die soon enough. Guys, how are you not winning here yet? Seriously. Um, it's so close to being able to do that. I think we'll do... Uh, uh, race stuff, right? Knights? We're not that many knights. I'll do that one. We need more construction speed anyways. Good. It's completely encircled. As it should be. And they'll do a general attack. Because that'll be good. Uh, let's outdate it, but we don't have enough pieces already, so we're going to wait for that. 
Six divisions gone, or is a great thing. It's a great, great thing. Um, if you just want to go over there, that's fine. Oh, go here, go here. You keep in place so you don't lose too many guys. There you go. Go up here, too. And head on in. The fall of Vetter. Good. No, you don't. No, you don't. You son of a gun. Hey, they're gone. Go in. Hey, Encircled. Nice. There you go. That should be good enough for them. Hmm. Anything else? Great. Let's come back over here and do some of this stuff. Civilian stuff. New te computer technologies. This one. Connect north and south. The World War problem can perhaps be most attributed to our poor handling of regional unity. Measures that can be that alienated natives from the government and followed are allowed. Anti-government sentiment to rise. Formalizing the railroads between north and south to make sure this never happens again. Nice. Go, boys, go. Hey, your guys invaded. They're not going to be very successful, but hey, they invaded. Um, over here, we must do this one. Get some tank designers, because we can. Keep making them cities and millies. A couple more divisions died, so we've lost about... Well, they've actually lost a lot. Wow, 50,000 versus hundred and almost 80,000. So that's not too bad, I would say, overall. Hopefully these guys don't attack us. Actually, I don't think they will, but still, you never know. And give us a lot of good army XP. Look at that. That's really nice. That's really flipping nice. Good. Go to Dinkau or Dinkelberg. Good. Ah, we got him. We got him. So, though, that's that area. The Socialist Republic of Scandinavia. So, I don't know if we can court that area, but. Which one? So, this one. Republic of Scandinavia. Oh, we can integrate them too. Vedina. That's in Vedina. Strand Striker Clan. Um, that's all over here, though, right? There's Sun Strikers. I don't know when these guys are going to attack. That's my worry. How strong is the kingdom here? Because I don't want to deal with these guys either. They're not that... Oh, they're very weak. Okay, we're going to go war them next immediately. Um, I don't want to do that yet, just because we're lacking so much of it already. So, attacking these guys immediately and getting the cores will be very, very beneficial. And end of Vedina. The monarchy to our west, while claims to be harmonic in nature, is still an aristocratic, noble state, and with little democracy and rights for their common folk. Their people will be liberty for the republic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Lutely. Oh, you have another ship there. Nice. Good. Um, you might want to do that first. There you go. Cancel the lease, It's fine. And then after this one, we're going to go and do integrate them. While Vedina speaks an inco incoherent language and continues to hold the values of the monarchy and reaction dear, we must integrate them into the Republic, whatever trouble it may be. Actually, since we're here, we have enough of this. I'm going to help lower uh, attrition, or at least resistance. So that'll be good up here. Um, do we want to liberate the Northern Free Communes? Well, there's that one on this side, of course. Oh, watch the... Well, we can't do that one now. Which is fine. Yeah, I mean, we have to reconcile, which we couldn't do. And yeah. The Socialist Republic of Skynavia. I don't think we can, but... Eventually, there won't be too... Oh, that's kind of an issue. It's not good. Integrate support. Let's grab that. Keep going with that one. Uh, go with that one as well. That'd be good. We can't even make any of them yet, which is really bad. I'll get more guns, too. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. And if Adina, good. Factory output. Let's do that one. Good. You should do okay here, right? You should do relatively okay, so, especially since they can't cover the entire border. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, they'll give us stuff. Yeah, look at that. Lake City, yeah. Come on, guys. Oh, I forgot to do this one, too. Integrate them. Let's go down here. Go to Sky... Skyrim. Ryrim, Skyrim. Very good. Up next, region wide, I like this one, but actually get some war propaganda just in case. That's that's actually pretty darn strong. Rim, good, 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 and go ahead and do any parts and stuff too. Anywhere there's a victory point, just take it. We want this war to be done with as fast as possible. Get some more decryption power, that'd be good, good, good. Yarn Kuping, is this Sweden? Maybe it is. I don't know. Skyrim's the capital now. And they, we're going to take the capital, which is nice, but still. Do they have anything down here we can take out? No? Okay. Lake City Council of Lundley, so be it. And we have Skyrim too. Fligam? 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 Cool. Whiteful Expedition. Um, 
I don't want to take them out. Wait, why? Wait, wait. Is it Sunstriker Clan? Yeah, it is. Cause just because that that that'll make the border even bigger between us and them, and I don't want a bigger border. We gotta concentrate the border as much as possible. So that'd be a bad idea to do. But support engineering schools. We must give our youths the finest Griffonian mathematics and engineers as their teachers. We will surely put these great minds to good use. They will no doubt serve both our nation and our youth. Very good. Ah, good. Recovery rate is not very much. We're not using special forces either too much. Uh, enemy air support actually might be really good. Division attrition goes down. Let's get some better recovery. It's not really worth it, honestly, but it, it'll work. Okay, how much... Okay, I was wondering how much more we needed to do to capitulate these guys, but okay. Alright, so now we can just concentrate on building up our forces down here. That'll be good. Go ahead and train. That'll be very nice. And do you guys have any upgrades? Oh, yes, one of them does, which is very good. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, because I don't know how strong these guys are gonna hit us. So that'll be good to know. And do that Thank you. And Smoocher. Counterintelligence. There we go. Oh, it's getting pretty high up here. Let's lower it a little bit more up here, too. Uh, Conquest of Rise by Philip Redglad. A book written by Philip Redglad tells us a story about the struggle of the Griffins of Prywin, as well as a new economic formation he is planning to institute in Prywin. Philip Redglad critiques feudal societies most of the Griffin nations possess. He proclaims that the right of every creature for well being less working hours, and that the main aim of a social state is technological innovation, which shall lead to automation and freeing the population from hard labor. The Communist Party in a country obtained a copy of the book is now being published and publishing it for everyone to read. Um, it doesn't matter. Honestly, political power is not that bad. We'll do that one. That's fine. So overall, we didn't get we did get quite a bit more artillery, honestly, with our, with our most recent war, which is pretty good actually. But oh, Stalingrad, I just we don't have any manpower right now. We need more time to take these guys out or to consolidate our lines. So I think it's just best to wait. As much as I really want to kill them off, by the end of this campaign, we'll kill these guys off. Probably, most definitely. So and let's save our factories for now because we need 16 and 15, 6, and we just need more. We just need more stuff. We just don't have enough stuff. Actually, resource-wise, how are we looking? We could probably lower from export focus engineering schools and speak or spark industrial center. The city of Squark has seen some rapid industrialization over the last year. With additional government funds, this could speed up even further to create, create a true center of industry. Guys, how do we get down here? We need to defend the dream. So we need to take them out as well. Stop defender. I mean, I guess maybe we should take them out. I don't know. I guess we could. I don't want to have a really thin line, though. Of course, we can always wait, right? We could probably just go manually go to war with them anyways. The longer we wait, the stronger they become, though, right? So, I might just go to war with them early on. How many divisions they got? Quite a few. Yeah, I think I'm just going to manually justify on them. I think that's for the best. Because I don't want... I want a thin line. Thin line. Because when he goes this way, the AI is focused more on defense. But you don't get any more defense. Try color will be good, but we don't really need to do that, so... <clears throat> Up next. Ooh, ooh, more organization for everybody. I'm not really using knights, so... And that does help light infantry speed, but... Recon does get more recon, though. Not really using paratroopers. And it's not bad. Artillery gets more soft attack. Yeah, I think that's the way we want to go. But more max factories in the state's pretty good, too, man. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. So, do we have any more things for military doctrines? Land doctrines at all? Support. Acclimatization, mountainous terrains... Oh, that's not bad. I like that one. Yeah, introduce military police. Our army isn't the most disciplined bunch. This has become increasingly worrying to our commanders, who now run the risk of bombarding our own troopers during artillery barrages, simply because said troopers wanted to gain glory for themselves. We must install a proper sense of order and discipline in these soldiers. Police, one, two, three, four. Nice. Havage? Uh, are we using... Well, I guess we're not using any other type of planes. Oh, that's looking so bad. Alright, so let's, get, let's do this. Save some of our own resources for more of our own our own industry, which is very good. But oh, even those things are looking up They're pretty bad, darn bad too. Nice. So after that one, then we'll go ahead and do uh, dedicated artillery units. With dedicated artillery regiments, we can more effectively coordinate artillery bombardments with troop movements, resulting in even less friendly fire and more accurate bar artillery barrages. Nice. Now we've got fifteen, twelve. That's actually pretty good. Get more research to be going. And that will only help us out by outputting more equipment. But they attack us, and we got plenty of forts here. Or actually, a lot of divisions they are not very good still. You guys are so bad. You know what? Actually, which ones were our 20 combo? Were these the 20s? That's not too bad. I'm going to convert these guys, at least these guys, to 20s. Maybe not 40s yet, but at least 20s. 
at the very least. So we're really out of manpower now. But hopefully we can core this stuff a little bit faster. Oh, resistance is still going up even more and more and more, which is bad. Um, yeah, this area's not looking very good now, is it? What, what's going on? Civilian oversight? Insufficient garrisons. Well, crap, then, so be it. We're missing loads of plenty power, which sucks. Well, that does help lower resistance. Naval raid from Hawken. If you want to build that, please go right ahead. It sucks. Actually, there you go. You got to time it correctly. Military training. Military police is nice. Good. Nice. That one. Yeah. Oh, it's slowly going up a little bit more now, which is nice. But resistance is still pretty darn high. Yeah, it's way too high for us. Yep. Um. Yeah. It's going to take a while to do, isn't it? Because we want those cores, but what, what's the average compliance of Vadina is 9%. These guys are only 12%. These guys are 27%. So it, it's going to get there eventually. That's a good thing we're still mobilizing. So after this one, rocket artillery, power of artillery. Ooh, that's really nice. Let's go with ooh, rocket artillery, but some more military factors would be nice first. Now that warlordism has been extinguished from the countryside, it is time to once again begin military and industrial development. While the Empire begins their large-scale projects of militarization and mobilization, we should do the same to both pacify militarist elements and the nation to prepare for the final struggle. We're always preparing for a final struggle. Ooh, that's, that seems really nice too. We have a little bit of manpower now. We definitely need way more artillery though. Holy crud. Let's buy at least... Uh, I don't want to buy stuff from them. Two steel. Okay, maybe three steel. So we can help our output of getting more artillery out of the field because just we need so much artillery. Nice. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that'll be good. Followed up with Revitalize Windhagen. That's not bad. More resources will be very good. Stability is okay. Oh, that'd be really good as well. The fall Wind Van Hoover. Not bad. We can go to war them we want, but new computing technologies. The Institute's development of electronics has returned some good results to us in terms of engineering. Funding them further could really support our research efforts. Pretty good. Plenty of manpower, too. We got plenty of guns for now, which is very nice. Uh, we're going to need more of this. I'm going to cut you down by that much. So that's actually more than enough steel. If that's the case, I'm just going to lower the amount we need and increase the amount we can get from you. Thank you. Come again. So we got this stuff coming along very nicely, actually. Get some planes. Oh, of course, once we get everything else done here, too, but still. Not bad. Overall, it could be a lot worse. Make sure we get the best guns. The best possible guns. Region wide integration. That's very good. And Chief of the Air Force. Ooh, air accidents. Air, air experience gain. It's only 5%. Bad weather penalty is probably pretty good to do. I'll we'll do that one next. And we're done mobilizing. No, we're not, which is good. All ponies front. All right. Resistance is going down. Compliance. Ooh, it's already 17%. Look at that. 20% up here. Not bad. Uh, overall, though, where are we at? 15%, 18%, it's going to take some time. It's seriously just going to take some time to get all this stuff done. Ooh, resources in the north. That means we don't have to... Oh, technically we don't need any more. Chromium's still looking very good, so we can wait on that. So let's do this one first. And then let's come back over. Yeah, I think taking the Strength Striker Clan is still a bad idea. We just don't have the military yet to really do too much there, but... I'm going to do rocket artillery just in case. The Empire and other nations around Griffonia seem to have a particular obsession with the... Uh, Naval Vefa and rocket artillery. As a new form of camera sky speciality, we shall embrace this new technology and bring it into the factories at once. Yeah, might we'll as well try it out, right? Might as well. Are you guys good? Are you training anymore? Oh, we're not making any more divisions. Oh, are you kidding me? If you want to be this, please go ahead. That sucks. Seriously, man. Do you want me to? Do you want me to kill these guys? Actually, are we suffering from a supply really this bad here? No, it was just exercising. That's fine. Okay, screw it. We'll just go to war then. I wasted people earlier, but. Whatever, it's only 28. Oh! Well, there we go. Uh, how long are they going to take? Under a clear sky. I don't think it should be that long for them, right? Oh, they're going to go to war with these guys. They're probably honestly going to enable invaders as well, so... Alright, let's do that. Um, I think we'll just grab this one. Yeah, we'll get more organization for everybody. And grab some more decryption, so you know what's going on with those guys. New competing techs. And rocket artillery. Followed up with what? Of course, the power of artillery. With our mass guns, now we have the ability to utilize the so-called creeping barrage tactic, which we can use to scare up or scare enemies out of their hiding places before in advance. More army XP and get more artillery attack, which is awesome. Oh man, these guys are looking pretty thick. Uh, actually, we're positive on artillery now. 
You guys are for the 40s. Get you down in half. You're becoming 40s now, too. I'll train one from here on out. The Shire has fallen. You should do okay here, especially if most of these guys are 40s. Not everyone, obviously, is, but that's okay. Um, Keep any more civvies, then. I prefer the millies for now, but that's kind, kind of fine. Okay, for now. We're in an apartment, because we can. Come on, once we get this core, that'd be so nice. Okay, so there they go. And now we're at 36. That's not bad. Actually, it's coming along very nicely, actually. Alright, now they begin... Oh, my goodness. Don't crack under pressure, boys and girls. Do not crack. You're literally not a lot... Can we actually push over? Oh, that was so close. You're actually going to win there. We're going to lose here, which it sucks, but, you know, there's not much we can do about it. Um, for now, go ahead and replace you with more defense. Oh, you actually might win there. It's nice. All right, so everyone here, all but you, are 40s. I don't care if we don't have the equipment for it or not. It or not. Ooh, it's not looking good. I might want to build up a better defensive line first, though. Uh, don't worry about that. Just hold. Yeah, don't let them over the river. That's really bad. Over here, I'm not too worried about that. Just go over here. It's fine. Losses. 120,000 already. That's actually pretty good for us. Just hang out for now. We still need, of course, core more stuff. Get way more artillery pieces. Holy crap. That is really not good. Hold, 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 then. Rocket artillery, and then power of artillery. My goal is to have a really strong, strong defensive line. So we'll do the best we possibly can. Don't worry about attacking. Don't worry about attacking, because if you attack, you're going to make yourself weak for now. The power's in the defense. That's not good. That's actually really bad. Yeah, it doesn't look very good for us right now, does it? That's why we have to do Ambusher. Both these guys. I don't know how strong these guys would be, so. Buzzards. Alright, get even more artillery if you can. Of course, then again, they're only focusing us and not our ally, the Quillian Republic, either, so. Can you. Did you. Um, they sent volunteers, huh? They're not defending. Yeah, I might have to redo this a little bit off screen just because we're not doing very well right now here. It's quite bad for us, actually. We lost 54,000. We only got 180,000 of them off. How much manpower do you have? They've, I know they have quite a bit. Yeah, they got a whole crap ton. Wait, why don't they join the war with us? I don't understand. Guys, please don't attack if you don't have to. Just defend. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to help us out here. Like, bro. They, uh, technically they did attack our ally, but still. Yeah, I don't think we can win here. This is not good. I might have to go back and change things up a little, maybe a little bit, perhaps? You should be able to push these guys out. Let's be realistic here. You should be able to push them out, since they're losing here anyways. Just a fair. Good. Pushing back over. The sack of Skyfall. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, we got some of their equipment. At least. Oh, boy. Not good. Not good. Oh, the speech. Second Revolution. The Second Revolution is the claw. It is time to drive out the monarchists and restore faithful Republican government to the Griffinheim. With such an important topic, it is key that Camera Sky address the nation on this matter. Uh, greetings, my fellow citizens. As I broadcast a speech across these lands, you are girthing yourself in the panoply of war marching south, ready for the greatest struggle we have faced in decades. The task ahead is monumental, for we face an empire who has steeled slips to reassert its tyranny and keep her people in bondage. Already is marched to bring the Hatzland Griffins back under its heel with force staining the lands with blood. Yet our commitment has stood fast ever since the First Revolution. We've stumbled but not fallen. The fires of 978 still burn in our hearts, and our commitment to liberty, democracy, and prosperity have been tempered by these trials. We're now united and purpose more than ever before, and we stand tall as the Griffins of Griffoni cry for liberty. From Aquila to Griffiths, the oppressed are asserting themselves, calling for the right to be more than just subjects, and this time the old tyrants will find their ambitions stymied. In this time, our duty as first of the Republicans to lead the way has never been more clear, and to this end we now prepare ourselves to right the wrongs done all those years ago. We act not only for ourselves, but so that all these generations uh, unborn can sit from the goblet of liberty. The rule will be long and it will be hard, and the golden liberty will be paid for with blood and tears both, but it is a price that we must be willing to pay, brothers and sisters who have fought since the first revolution, children of our departed comrades, who have risen to take their parents' place, gallant griffins of cloudberry and all creatures across the world who have rallied to this great cause. Today the second revolution begins. For the Republic. How much equipment do they have? 
They have a lot of equipment, which is very bad for us. Very, very bad. Incredibly bad. But it seems like we're holding out quite well, or at least well enough, somewhat. Don't let them take this spot. Don't let them take it. Vampire Strikes Back. All right. Oh, how did they take that? No, get the heck out of here, you pieces of doo-doo. Oh, God, this is so bad. They just have so much strength. I don't understand why these guys didn't join the war. That's such BS. We're literally call calling... We had to call to arms for a defensive war. And then these guys said no. Screw those guys. Who's raiding us? What? No! Oh, my God, what the heck? No, that should not happen. That's literally going to make us lose a war. We can't spare any divisions. Get back on the lines. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh my god. Why is that in the game? Okay, I'm sorry. I've got to go back and refix this. I, I apologize. All right, everyone. So, I've gone ahead and done something different this time. So, this time, I let Skyfall Republic just die. I decided to let him die because we can't beat him up as soon as we possibly could. So, defense doesn't really work out that well for us. I've done quite a few focuses off screen. We've actually finally cored a lot of the territory around here, too. Obviously, not. Oh, actually, we cored some of the territory up, too, huh? Yeah, we did. But now this area, which is fine, whatever. I still have not taken out this, uh, the Sunstruck Clan, which is now the Kingdom of Whitetail. And for some reason, I actually went to war with the Griffonian Empire, I think, or did they go to war with me? I think I went to war with them. And then the Quillian Republic actually decided to join in this time, so. Really? It, I, I don't understand why the Quillian Republic doesn't join the war every single time, especially if we're on defense. I think we're on defense. No, I think I went to war with them. No, I think I went to war with them. And they still joined in. I don't understand why they didn't do it last time. I really do not understand why. I think that's a huge mistake. But, regardless, as you can see, we've, we've delivered a lot of casualties. We actually delivered less than the Quillian Republic, but at this point, I don't really care. I'm going to kill them off anyways, just because of how garbage they are. So, they're going to die anyways. I've done a lot of focuses, including repair air force. Only a few of the most powerful countries on the Griffonian continent have an air force. And we should do our best to join in them in that. Having an efficient large air force to contest the skies and aid our advance down below will be greatly aiding our war effort. Now, let me see. Let me go through the order which I did a lot of these natural resources. Rich, riches. Here in the north, we have many unused deposits of natural materials that we are only now taking advantage of. We can throw some money towards these mines, expand our mechanization effort to mining as well. And then uh, live long and prosper. Through lots of reforms, we've overcome our time of national crisis. No longer do people starve or beg for money. With full employment and a growing industry, our nation is now stronger than ever before. Our people will live long and prosper. And then we did... Um, ah, Brave in the Cloudberry Mountains. <coughs> And it's time to learn some tactics from the natives and train our troops in the war for the Cloudberry Mountains and the mountains in Northern Strawberry and Whitetail. If we're to defeat the Imperials, we must learn to use these vital strategic positions in both defense and offense. And then we did revitalize Winghagen. The port and factory down of Winghagen was once a critical area of military and industrial importance during the days of Cloudberry in the early Republic. Due to our current conditions, we must further revitalize Winghagen to suit our modern naval development. Winghagen shall once again become a crowning jewel of the Cloudberry region. Resources in the North. The north of the Cloudberry region has been critically underutilized by both the government and previous Dutch Cloudberry. Steel and chromium must be developed in the north, unless we have a critical mining mineral shortage on our claws. Alstend and Alsrusen? With all the hardships we have faced in this cold and alien land, it is almost magical that we have been able to rebuild our economy to the levels of the modern states of Griffonia and even Equus. We have risen from the ruins that once characterized our economy and government, and a true economic miracle is at claw, and retake control of the stockpiles. <clears throat> if there's an ample amount of something in our country, it would be guns. From all the conflicts that took place recently, and also because of the increased militarization in general, it isn't even that hard to find places with the unguarded stockpiles of them. By regaining control over these vast amounts of stockpiles, we could use the weapons to bolster and arm the ranks of the army. Uh, while the frontline troops are the main heroes, we mustn't forget about the support units in our army. We'll make sure every group has ammo supplies to ensure just this. We must reorganize the support battalions into more effective units. Well, and utilize the crystals. <clears throat> using magical crystals, we're able to create an entirely new kind of gun that one isn't that using ballistic energy, but magic instead. Such guns might revolutionize the very nature of warfare. Our, rich, our lands are rich with crystals and needed to power these weapons, so it would be a waste not to use them effect effectively. And equestrian uh, radar technology. Equestrian scientists have developed the radar, technology able to see enemies before they even arrive for battle. Were their industry beginning to use crystals in equestrian engineering, perhaps we should also take another page from the book of equestrian warfare and develop some radar technology. And Lost Gate Military Academy. While Cloudberry has many military schools, the North is severely lacking in acad academics or academies teaching military strategy. To rectify this, the Griffinonian Republic has created the Lost Gate Military Academy, which will provide training and tactics and strategy to generals and researchers in the North. And then I did repair the Air Force, and that's pretty much all I've done so far. Um, at this point, we could do this either one. Ooh, which one do we like? Fighters, military factories, air superiority, attack. I like this. If you want to about this, please go right ahead. 
I'm just going to go ahead and do the left side here with Gustav's High Flying Fighters. The most important part of air warfare is to have control over the skies, and as such, we should focus our efforts on creating planes that would let us do that. Our planes should be relatively small and agile while remaining a deadly threat. And just, I don't know, I don't like the Korean Republic. I'm, I'm literally going to kill them off because I'm sick of them. Like, they just refuse to come in. Like, the two, three times off screen, I try to do this. And they just refuse. They just refuse. I don't understand why they refused. Is, is that historical for them to refuse? Also, we need to definitely go to all those serve, so. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is a necessary evil. A from Far South. The parishes of Sycamion, one of the origins of the Griffonian democracy, or so they claim, has sent us three divisions of volunteers, the Vanguard Democracy, as they call themselves. Officially, they are tourists, and the weapons are marked as a tomato shipment to Cloudberry, but they're still here nonetheless, and are chomping at the bit to get into battle. They have expressed their wish to stay here, even after the war helped build up the Republic against threats. Not just those that currently threaten it, but also future threats to the life of it, foreign or domestic. Needless to say, they are a sight for eyes. We stand together against tyranny. Nice. Um, you guys are okay. 12 combat width is not great. So, and also I made all my divisions 40 combat width already. So as you see, all 40, including the Mountaineers, so. Yeah, I don't understand why Aquilia, like, they're the exact reason why you, we were not able to win earlier. And also, we're winning now just because they have no manpower. Oh, they, look at their equipment levels. Look at that. They have some artillery. They don't have any guns, though. And they're out of manpower, so. They're on all adult serve as well, so that's why they've taken this many casualties, but I'll give some territory to the Aquilian Republic, but I am going to kill them off. They do not deserve anything from us. I mean, come on. That's such BS. Look at that. We just overran a couple more divisions. Calchities. Three million. Jesus Christ. I hate the Quillian Republic. They are going to die by the time we're done with them. But you guys should be out of, almost out of manpower. That's good. After this, I'm going straight to war with them. I'm not giving them a single inch to move. Which will probably be in the next episode, so. Uh, manpower's coming along. Do we need more planes? Yeah. We probably do. could use some planes. Let's go, let's, let's go three... I could use some more rubber and aluminum as well. Yeah, don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about this part of the line. You'll be okay. Alright, let's see. Cool, and I've tried to maximize our artillery as much as possible. Let's go with the rocket artillery, why not? Support weapons. Oh, we have the fist resource left too, so that's really nice. Great. Alright, so let's read this again. Yeah, you'll get a lot of territory, Quillian Republic, but I'm going to take it all in the end, because you guys are pieces of garbage. Screw these guys. Nice. And after this, we'll do, uh, Riss... Rivstall Family Investments. Gustav Rivstall, although an extremely gifted fighter pilot in his own right, is part of the powerful Calabria family with numerous connections in the Republican government. Fortunately, the Rivstall family is very pleased with their support of Gustav's ideas in the field of aviation. Now, we can get even more benefits from allying his family directly. Encryption is great. Uh, research speed just a little bit ahead of time. Let's get some more research speed from that. And then expand the Rivstall Doctrine. Like an eagle from the sky, our fighters shall swoop down and destroy any of the enemies <clears throat> uh, with speed and precision. We must also, however, as Ristal points out, protect our airplanes while they attack our foes, especially because Ristal fa family planes don't come cheap. Nice. Oh my god, why are they attacking us again? Actually, they attacked us early and I actually did win. We got our guys up there just in time, but at this point, it's kind of okay. We can deal with them, so... But yeah, I don't like the Griffonian Empire. I don't like the Quillian Republic. I played them four times, for the love of god, and I didn't know they were this bad. <laughs> They refused to join the war when we needed them the most. I mean, my gosh. Who does that? You say you're going to help each other out. I know they're not in our faction, but still. Uh, I don't see about, care about that one. Go, go logistics for now. Go, go, go. Griffinheim's gone. It's good. I want more dead. We've done 56%, so we'll get about 40% of the whole thing there. And the Griffonian Empire is now dead. Pretty much. Oh, just in time for that thing done. Alright, so... I'm not exactly sure what they want. I want to get Skyfall back, maybe. So, I'll give you some territory first. Do, 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 do. I guess something like that. Uh, that was a bit much. What's claims here? Bazillion. Um, they can have Griffinheim, too, for now. That's all you get. Mm, that's a bit much, actually. There you go. Mm. Eh, that's, that's good enough. And that's not quite 40%, but then again... I mean, it's your fault. For, it's not your guys' fault, but the Quillian Republic's fault for why the other group fell. If they just joined the flippin' war, we would have won. I guarantee you, we would have won. So, screw these people. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we brushed them out. Okay. Uh, actually, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, that looks pretty bad. There you go. There you go. All right. 
So do we get any focus or anything like that? Yes, we don't. Tricolor over these guys. We need to own Griffinheim, so we're good with them next. The Whitetail Expedition. The region of Whitetail to the east has a significant Republican movement, yearning to escape the yoke of Everar Sunstriker and join us in a struggle. It falls to us to liberate those Griffins. Territory takeover. What? Our troops are unable to defend against the enemy. Outnumbered and overrun. They pulled back, leaving the surrounding territory open for taking. Okay, I'm going to kill every last one of these people off. Like, at this point, I'm just becoming a genocidal person right now. So, this is honestly really uh, aggravating. This is really just aggravating. No wonder... Sh I guess we just should have taken them out earlier, I guess. I mean, what else can we do? Every single one of those people have to die. That is stupid. That is... And I get, like, from their perspective, that's really fine and stuff. But that's so stupid. That is incredibly stupid. Are we still mobilizing? That's good. Alright, after that one, we will go ahead and do... Defend the crown. No, we need the white tail gone. Integrate white tail. With white tail, white tail free and under control of the Republican army, the local Republican governments or movements shall be consolidated to create a local government of white tail, now an integral part of the Republic. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. I don't care who's left. I want every single one of them dead. I, I want you to force the attack. I want every single one of them dead from here on out. Doesn't matter. I don't care how many casualties we take. Fifty-two thousand is not enough. It is not enough. I want. I want every single one of these. Look, they're even force defense. I bet they did force defense. You don't get a hundred thousand casualties that way so far, without doing force defense. Trust me. <laughs> I should know. And also, a lot of these guys do have ambusher. So, um, we're not going with infantry expert because, let's see. Yeah, you look at that ambusher right there. Ambusher right there. So half ambusher, half infantry expert. So, yeah, kill every single last division off. Like. Kill, kill all the family members off. I'm not going to mess around with these people. You don't take our lands. Every single family member that they have that you find. Burn it all down to the ground. We're going to get a little uh, gamer here. Some might say. Good. And I'm going to kill these pieces of garbage off too. They're all pieces of garbage down here. But we'll probably save that for the next episode. Cool. The Quillia Concordat. Great news has come to us from Griffenheim. The Quillian delegation has agreed to recognize their claims to the Hatzland in exchange for confirming our close political ties to them, as well as recognizing their own independence. What is certainly excellent that Aquilia is so willing to allow us control over our rightful territory. It is evident that their maneuvers are aimed at keeping themselves politically distin distinct from us. Accepting their offer will be a blow to our deal pan Griffonianism, but compromises will likely have to be made given our position. If Republicanism in general is to be upheld, on the other claw, if my what might we gain from the risk eruption? No. To hell with them. To hell with them and back. How dare you even try to bring up something like that. You failed in trying to, you know, achieve peace on this continent. So, screw these people. Go straight to hell. I, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not messing around with them. These, are they griffins? Whatever they are. Pieces of garbage. They are going to burn. I'm going to burn every last one of them. How dare you not even try to help us out earlier. How about defend the dream? The Terrence and Griffin and I will stack, attack at any minute. We must defend our nation and counterattack with the hordes of Imperial troops. Okay, the coming hordes. Then we must strike at the heart of the Imperial lands and bring a greater future for all Griffins. I am going to kill them all off. I don't care what happens. I really don't. I really don't. They have a lot of divisions, but then again, our divisions are quite good. Like, we might not have a ton of them, but our divisions are quite, quite good. We're still mobilizing too, by the way. So, anyway, so. Defend the dream, and we'll still do expand the, doc the doctrine, so. Of perfecting our air doctrine. Seeing as how we lack our own professional pilots, we should focus our attention on establishing contact with veterans from other nations. If we're to give enough of our funds to such pilots, they'll probably be very excited and eager to work with us, and we can make them share the experience about air tactics and strategy. Good. Good. There you go. Um, Stalingrad? Sure. Uh, that's not good enough. There you go. Logistics 2. Let's go Logistics 3 just in case. Uh, Mountaineers could probably use that as well. And I do want to use artillery. Like, I want I want a lot of attack. Even more soft attack? That's not enough soft attack. I want more. I want I want out the booty. Loads and loads of loads. Nice. Oh, are they attacking somebody? Oh, they're attacking those guys. That makes sense. Cool. I hope they win. I hope the small guys win. Uh, go and train if you need it, guys. That'd be great, 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 great. Skyfall, they're gone for now, but whatever. Oh, we don't even have any manpower, too, so... Um, we should be able to get core all this stuff eventually. Actually, we have you guys too, so let's lower this down. Alright, let's do that there. And you guys go over here. Nice. 
We should be good. Not enough manpower, but we'll get there eventually. We will. We will. Because compliance should be still going up. Actually, do we have any resistance here? No. We do have resistance, but not enough of a garrison, huh? Alright then. Good. And there goes the manpower. Dream. Defend the dream. Perfecting our own doctrine. Yeah. Keep training if you need to. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll probably start the next episode going to war with these guys. They're going to attack us pretty harshly, but I don't really care, I'll be honest. Um, air bases over there. We probably could use some over here and over here as well. Getting more military factors, of course, will be crucial. But we're actually getting a lot of manpower, which is... Or a lot of artillery, because well, I want as much soft attack as possible. I almost never use that much soft attack anyways, but... I think it'll be worth it in the end. So after that, we'll do this one. And then... Can we do anything over here? Track over Griffin? No, we need that. So we'll need to take them out next. Because I, I rejected them. Because they deserve to be rejected. So, we'll do this one. Commission new fighters. Uh, commission new fighters. Our new pilots have asked us to commission a new set of fighters. After a few talks and backroom deals, the pilots have helped our scientists develop new fighter models for themselves to use. Very nice. Anything else here? Uh, I mean, this one's okay. It's not really worth it. Army XP. We already have more than enough. Promises of peace. Now we're good. Good. Good, good, good. Anything else down here? Not yet. I'll help it down here. Yes. Yes, Marapa, please. That would be great. I hope these guys are ready to die. I really hope they are. Anti tank. Nice. It's a little bit ahead of time. A little bit ahead of time. Land doctrine. We're trying to finish it up as well. Fighters. Uh, actually, we have enough stuff for here. Battlefield support. Operational integrity. Well, we're going to use battlefield support, I guess. Hmm. You get more independent fuel usage, I guess. That's fine with us. Because we have those air bases already. We still have no manpower, which sucks, but whatever. Because this one... Oh, shock and health. Done. Great. 16. That's good. Uh, logistics. Yeah, might as well go with that one. Why not? And better logistics. Followed up with what? Uh, we can do that one because we can. Hmm. 17%. Because this focus said... Defend the dream, but integrate these average compliance of whitetail. So this area will be cored eventually. This area, not yet. Not until we get all the stuff taken care of. And I'm sure they're mobilizing more right now. It's not that bad, actually. Passive defense is nice. Alright, we can go to war. Very soon, very soon. Let's get at least one more, one more focus and see what happens. Uh, we'll see what happens. If it doesn't go well, then I will readjust this, of course. For what we really need. All right, commission new fighters. And expand this. And we've already read about this one. I think, maybe not. Foreign pilots that come to us from other countries sometimes were brought something additional other than knowledge with them. If we were just splicing everything together, we might be able to recreate working blueprints, recovering our air technology industry. Our air bases and military factories producing aircraft and other equipment for our forces have become decrepit. We must restore our air industry if we were to truly become a modern Republican Air Force and flying over high over Maya. Flying high over Maya. Maya may have stolen our Air Force, but he has certainly not stolen our pride. With our new air wings deploying and our research finalizing, we can finally say with full sincerity that we have driven the scourge out from Cloudberry and that Maya has betrayed us finally been healed. Now, if we go to war with them, what happens? They have their uh, the crappy little allies. And do they attack us immediately? No, they do not. Um, what if we attack them here? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wingbody, yes, yes. Can we go to war with these guys? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's nice. They're not attacking us. What do you mean they're not attacking us? What do you mean? I get that one because we want But I think I'll end it here just so that we start this off together tomorrow. Together and just, I'm going to murder every single last one of these pieces of garbage in the Aquilian Republic and our allies. But if you enjoyed the video, do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will right the wrongs of Aquilian incompetence and ineptitude. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.